and start recording. So here's my hauler mission. I think I have a gun and reinforced bulkheads and the stupid decked, which means I've got E-class thrusters on a hauler. Ow. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, Ooh, die, it's slow. Mm. Gonna take off the hull reinforcement packages so that I have some jump range. What's your modded hauler come out to? Jump range wise? Yeah. Oh, this is not modded. This is old school cool. Or do you mean with the uh, decked stuff? No, no, I, sorry, I mean. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, max jump range of 1849 with completely empty internals, no shields, no utility mounts, and one tiny gimbaled multi-cannon. It's pretty sad. Poor little hauler. It's the worst of times. Okay. Uh, Kobe Gateway. But I think I can still make everything in one jump, which is probably worth it. Seem Although, hmm, with with bonuses that add up to a minute, a jump only takes forty five seconds. Right. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I also probably have to try the go backwards through the docking slot bullshit. And the typing really? bullshit. Oh yeah, to have a competitive time. Like, going backwards through all the docking slots is a two-minute bonus. I guess that's actually not that hard with flight assist, huh? It's still pretty hard. Oh, I'm sure. You know, it's, it's doable. Easy, but yeah, yeah, if you line yourself upright, and especially if you're in a ship that's a little smaller. Yeah, so the thing is, if... I don't understand how the hell that guy did in the beluga. I, I don't I even... So, what I would do if I were him is I would line up from like 10 kilometers out and start going forward slowly, turn off flight assist, turn around, and you can actually line up the station at the back of your radar, if you think about it. But yeah, still yeah. like, I don't even know. <laughs> and it looks yeah, so pretty. <laughs> okay. That is some skills. So let's see, these people have weapons out, and they're doing decked, and they're going backwards. And I have to say, hello, your name, you're looking nice today. That's gonna be hard. Although the hauler is so small, I'll have like 20 seconds to type that. Yeah, you have a lot of time. Stupid hauler. They're gonna add a thing so you can see the orientation of the space station. Yes, on the coast, right? yes. That's not in yet. It's not in yet. It actually probably will affect me less than other people, because the way we do racing approaches, you kind of drop in from planet side anyways, but it'll be nice for the times you miss or you mess up, you'll be able to see it. But it's not in yet. Okay. <sighs> This is gonna feel so slow. Where's my stupid timer? There we go. Didn't I reset all those damn times? Oh, let's see. Okay, taking off in one go. I mean, it's not that slow. With boost, it can get up to like 250. Did he? Not 
bad. Oh, damn, sorry. I was dying. I was trying not to. That's fine. Boost to 250 is pretty bad. I have I've a lot. Anacondas and belugas. I guess. Exclusively. I guess. My standards are different than yours. <laughs> yeah, you just got low standards. Oh, she's a three. Yeah, it's better than a one. Yeah. I, <laughs> you don't understand what it's like. I've been driving space buses, and I'm like, man, this Ferrari doesn't handle as good as my Lamborghini. Mm. I'm not sure though that like E-rated thrusters haul that counts as a Lamborghini. It's maybe like yeah, an '85 Mustang. Beluga? Have you flown a stock Beluga? Right. Wait, you're stock? No, not okay. Anymore. Oh man, a stock space Beluga space. would have to be terrible, wouldn't it? It's, it's pretty bad. It's it's not good. I'd say that's um yeah. It's, I'd say not good is a good way to describe it. Yes. <clears throat> What's weird is how, I mean, it handles pretty much the same in Super Cruise. Yeah, I know like other actually, ships don't, the but... The Beluga handles like a dream in Super Cruise. That's man. weird. It's it's one of the... I mean, again, my, my standards are different, but, like, it handles so nice compared to, like, the Anaconda and the other things I've been driving. Robot Peterson, Bravo, Romeo, Uniform. You are now in Hello, Kobe Gateway. You're looking nice today. You have to say it or type it. Oh, you, uh, you cheater. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm typing it. Oh, you're typing it and saying it. Right. That's, that's fair. He's doing the race, greeting the people, using a holler, all kinds of crazy crap. Having my guns out going through the cell. Shoot. Having your guns out. I've been forgetting to go backwards. I guess I'll go backwards uh, next time. His reasons. No, no, he's not doing it backwards. I saw somebody doing it in a beluga. I'll do it backwards next time. No, no, you fucker. I hate it. I don't. You probably don't run into this because I think it's something that's kind of only racing. But the route plotter can be a freaking liar at times. How so? So my range is currently 18.49 light years. I want to jump to a system that's 18.4 light years away. So I should be able to, right? Mm -hmm. I can. But if I plot it, it wants me to take two jumps. What? Why? because it can't do the range right like if if it, you get really near your max jump range the route plotter starts lying it's really stupid that was weird I can imagine that's frustrating because you're like honing your jump range down to the 10th right. and it's like, uh, yeah, you can make it, you can't make it. Well, and you eventually just get used to it. Like, there was some race last summer where... Also, do you know why I have Marsted in my battle map list? I don't think I've ever... I don't know, like, when he... Did he request you as a f uh, star I don't remember this. I just all of a sudden started noticing him show up. Like, oh, Marsted is online, and I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, I don't mind, I just... I feel like somebody else like hacked into my account. <laughs> added Shoot, a piece of didn't we play something? Overwatch. Overwatch. We played oh, Overwatch over Christmas break. Right. God, it was forever ago. Stop it. This winner has gone too fast. 
I feel like it should still be January. Yeah, something like that. No, I don't like it when my healer gets threat. I really don't. It's very bad. Stupid gas giants. Also, it's a terrible crime against everything that Tolkien ever thought, but have you seen the stuff for the new Shadow of War game? Shadow of what? It's a sequel to Shadow of uh, Assassin's Creed Mordor, or Shadow... Right. Shadow I heard... Mordor I haven't actually called. played that. I just heard great things about it. I think it's so much fun. It's like my... Fun, it's definitely my favorite of any of the Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, I've um, heard it's just great. It's, it's... Yeah, it's better than it has any right to be, basically. Uh, and they're making a sequel that looks... Hello. Lucian. Enko. Vision, you are looking nice today. I want to see a race that's based around getting somebody injured to you so that you don't have to slow down. That would be really interesting. Hard to do, I but I like the idea. Of a planet, right? Yeah, that would be weird. Luckily, they've apparently fixed it. You used to just get stuck in the planet. Now you, uh... You had to, what, blow up and die? Yeah. But like now, it just—it's just like no, you can't be in a planet. I'm gonna put you over here because this is a place that you're allowed to be. Twenty-seven. Two landings down, two to go. Why am I beating a warrior who's like 60 animals higher than me and is the gas wall? No clue. Yeah, I tried doing the backwards through the docking slots in the Imperial Courier. It did not go well. <laughs> I did somersaults comes, all the time. The courier, is it the, the small one the courier the one so there's four. The Imperial Eagle is technically the oh, smallest-ish, but the Imperial Courier is the small one. It, it is a great racing ship. It's the one that goes like over 700 meters per second if you make it as light as possible. Um, but it's long and it still has those things on the side. So if you get like caught, you just start spinning and somersaulting. <laughs> it's very bad. I can imagine that would be a bit of a problem. The other problem was usually I wasn't. I didn't turn around far enough before the slot, so I was still trying to turn around while I was in the toast rack. Mm. And even if I oriented myself vertically, it it was not necessarily a good thing. I can see that being a problem. A little bit, a little bit. You're not pinging me, right? I am not pinging you. Cool. I assume it's my sister then. Whoa. Unless you heard a ping that I just got. No, your... it was specifically on my laptop. Shit. 
shoot. Oh, this is such a slow approach, it's killing me. Why? Oh, what's really funny is the people who are racing in VR trying to type. Oh, sweet. Docking slot 36, my favorites. I think I need to refuel this time. I should do that. See, like there, I almost forgot my guns until the last second. Like, cause there's just so much to be thinking about and doing. Right. Regulate speed until outside the exclusion zone. My ass. Yeah, I'm racing. Stations just start putting racers on their list of shoot on sight. <laughs> that <laughs> is... People wouldn't know the rules if they came up and slapped them in the face <laughs> and murdered them. That is standard lore whenever, but ever, yeah, whenever anybody does, like, RP. Like, people will post, like, notices from the station. Like, if you see Commander Samuel Draker, shoot on sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, considering that I got executed for being in the toast rack for like 20 seconds, you guys should all be tortured to death. It's true, it's true. I'm still bitter about that, by the way. Understandably so. Here's, here's a note from the latest scoreboard update. In other news, a beluga liner, identifying itself as Wedding Barge, was spotted performing some very odd maneuvers indeed in Noatica. Uh, and surrounding systems, carrying weapons, chaff, reinforced hull and nose shields. It seemed to ignore all instructions to stow its weapons or even enter starports in the right direction. The ship's owner, Commander Cookie Hole, declined to comment, but nonetheless seemed pleased with the results. Amazing. <laughs> stow your... Is that something that he posts, or did somebody else post Somebody that? else posted that. Sometimes people will post their own, like I've done station reports of... Um, uh, there was one recently where I just had an asp that splatted against a beluga. I was boosting out of the slot, and then there's a beluga, and it's just like... Psh. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. What's up? Much dying? Died. Now, does it dying matter if you guys are doing that run? Like, do you get less no, loot each time you time. die? Ouch. Every death by anybody subtracts five seconds from the run. <sighs> so a full party wipe is 25 seconds. Do you run back? Uh, we have a druid, so I got battle okay. res, but yeah, you'll, you'll, you, you res inside the dungeon. Okay. Um, but then you have to run back to wherever you were. Deaths, deaths are extremely bad, for sure. Gotcha. Hello. Hi. And this is one of the worst ones for a newbie tank. That reduced threat. It makes me, fills me with great rage and furious anger. Understandable. What are you tanking as? Hot Warrior, Thunderfist. Oh, right. Sweet. Uh, this is actually the original Thunderfist, the one that I created on uh, Shadow Song, I think it was. 
back in 2004. Did you transfer him? Mm -hmm. Dang, that's an old kid. Wait, was he the dwarf? Yep. Nice. Okay. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. That's not gonna be bad. That could be a really good run. I wanna do the math on that right now. Okay, so my time was 13.56. I did pulling your leg, I did don't pull me surely. I did self block us, I did be polite, be efficient. I did disregard the constabulary. And I also did the stupid 10-year plan and status friendly. Okay, so that's Minus one minute, two minutes, four minutes, four minutes, 15. I'm gonna have to double check that. That could be a first place run. Really? Oh yeah. So I did it in 1356, but my bonuses are four minutes and 15 seconds. So that gets me below the 10 minute mark. That gets me down to nine minutes, 41 seconds. Unless my timing was wrong. I'm going to go double check that now after I show off my loadout and stop recording.